Greetings to my team of 144, all star seeds, love workers, and way showers. It is 9220191111. Massive rainbow energy waves coming in today. Again, every day we are being bombarded, especially with this massive geomagnetic storm coming in. Many people, if you read the comments below my videos, in the last few days, you'll see many comments about what we are calling ascension symptoms, but these are energy patterns that are manifesting in the body, and some people are experiencing some very weird anomalies in the last couple days with their physical vessels. So be sure to read the comments, leave us a comment about what you're feeling, seeing, experiencing through these massive ascension energies that are flowing in fully now especially with the divine feminine rising up waking up the matriarchy is rising and this is coming through many channels through this medium through these energies through the field i'm going to get right into the transmission for the day and then give you a couple more updates after the transmission from today, Lord Buddha, creating enlightenment from your frequency. And this is all about the ascension energies and rise, raising your frequency. And that's what we mean also by rising up, standing up, lifting up, ascending up. And this is channeled through Natalie Glasson from the Sacred School of Am Na. Greetings and divine blessings extend from my essence to you. I am Lord Buddha. Today I wish to invite you upon a journey of discovery of all that you are, all that is the creator and the current purpose of ascension. To experience this journey, I need to invite you to my planetary Logos Ashram on the inner planes. You may wish to use this invocation to assist you. Lord Buddha, please integrate your high vibrational frequency and light with my soul and entire being. Please raise my frequency and light so I may meet your energy with balance and similar vibration. As my energy quickens in vibration, support me in integrating all that I am with all that you are. In doing so, I wish to experience a deeper bond and connection with you and enter into your planetary Logos Ashram on the inner planes. I direct my focus within my being so I may become aware of the shifts taking place in the most appropriate way for me. Thank you. This invocation may feel like a knitting of our energies together and a boost of light flowing through your being from my ashram. With this integration and acceptance of each other so our journey together can begin, discovering your frequency and creating your frequency, many souls, especially those currently incarnate upon the earth asked me where they should direct their focus in terms of their ascension process. As planetary logos, I am overseeing the ascension of the earth and planetary level, so this is a very good question to direct to me often during your meditation experience or quiet time. In doing so, you are allowing and requesting me to assist your ascension process and point out to you the most important areas for you personally to focus upon. Lord Buddha, I invite you to pre present with me, to be present with me now, to guide and assist me as I ask you, where should I direct my focus to advance, accelerate, and reveal my ascension process now? Lord Buddha, I receive your light and guidance with an open heart and mind. I understand you may support me by sharing valuable information and insights, or you may support energetic healing and shifts within my being. I am open to receive now. Thank you. One of the greatest and most fulfilling answers I can give you to this question of where to focus your attention to aid your ascension is to stand in the space of your frequency. Your frequency is akin to the rhythm or energetic coding of your entire being, both on the earth and the inner planes. It is everything that you are as a being who exists upon the earth and the sacred essence that you are on the inner planes. Your frequency is pure and untainted. It is like a song you continuously sing that expresses all that you are, as well as all that you are as the creator. To stand in the space of your frequency is to claim your power, love, enlightenment, and wisdom, to claim everything that your soul is at the purest level. 
Remember that you are immensely expansive and so this is an empowering experience. When you stand in the space of your frequency, you discover your frequency and begin to create the higher vibrations of your frequency in your current reality. You become the creator of your frequency. To stand in the space of your frequency is to know and accept yourself more fully. You may be wondering, how do you stand in the space of your frequency? In truth, there is a need to make space within your reality and being to exist in this peace. This can be achieved in simple ways by focusing on your breathing, holding the focus of your physical eyes on a certain point, or retreating to a place where you will not be disturbed by another physical being for a while. It is important to contemplate what does space mean to you, what do you need to do or focus upon to feel as if you have space. Remember that space can mean to experience freedom, liberation, an opening or a pause in your daily reality, thought process, and even emotional process. When you allow yourself to experience space of the most appropriate kind for you, then you give yourself the opportunity to connect with and realize your frequency. It is as if you dissolve distractions and allow yourself to see, sense, and acknowledge the truth of your being. As for what you will discover when you stand in the space of your frequency, only you will know as it will be unique and personal to you. It is to see yourself with clarity and truth, bringing forth the clarity of the divine. The purpose of my encouragement of you standing in the space of your frequency is to assist you in bringing forth the clarity of the divine and your essence into manifestation within your life and being. This is especially important now with all the energies anchoring into the earth to aid ascension. When you stand in the space of your frequency, you naturally express the clarity of the Creator through all that you are, experience, and create. If you place conscious awareness and focus on downloading clarity from your frequency, you will balance and empower the power and love of your essence within your being, thus becoming an expression of clarity. As I stand in the space of my frequency, I learn to discover and create my frequency within all aspects of my being, reality, and ascension process. I naturally recognize divine clarity flowing over and through my being and life. I now choose to download clarity from my frequency to be of service to myself, Mother Earth, the universe, and the Creator. I choose to accept, embody, and express the clarity of the divine, knowing how healing and enlightening this will be for me and those around me, and so it is. I ask Lord Buddha to amplify and magnify my intention now. Thank you. It is important to realize that this simple intention has the power to shift the consciousness of humanity so that all may recognize the Creator within and around them. Contemplate for a moment how much positive and loving change this would create for the world. Windows of divine inspiration and ancient knowledge. When you stand in the space of your frequency and consciously download the clarity of your frequency to experience the Creator fully within and around you, you open a divine window. This divine window allows for sacred inspiration and ancient knowledge to flow from the divinity of your frequency into your current awareness and reality. It is akin to a veil becoming thin and the unseen becoming seen. The window of divine inspiration and ancient knowledge may be experienced by you as a portal opening or a download of information. There is much for you to receive and retrieve and to further the ascension of all as well as yourself. Lord Buddha, as I stand in the space of my frequency and consciously download divine clarity, I invite you to assist me in opening the windows of divine inspiration and ancient knowledge in the most appropriate way for me. As I am now open to receive, support me in accepting the sacred wisdom and understanding that will aid my ascension and encourage me to assist others in doing and experiencing the same. Thank you. Please know that sacred wisdom and knowledge may flow into your conscious awareness instantly or with divine timing in the way that is most appropriate for you to accept and receive. Many of you will be called to receive and to distribute or anchor in certain areas of the earth and even the inner planes. It is now time to retrieve sacred information, reawakening and grounding it into the earth to support the empowerment of all as expressions of the Creator. 
in sacred love and wisdom, Lord Buddha. So I'll put a link in the description below this video for these invocations that you can use through this ascension process. So it was reported for the last three days, a monster geomagnetic storm was lashing Earth, a solar wind stream blowing as fast as 800 kilometers a second hit our planet's magnetic field over the weekend, triggering the second most powerful geomagnetic storm in 2019. This year's second most powerful geomagnetic storm was recorded through Sunday and Monday. It started Saturday, so for three days the Earth's field was bombarded with these high solar winds and these magnetic energies, these plasma energies. Also through Elizabeth, Peru, the planetary retrogrades. As an important reminder, we still have five planetary retrogrades happening right now, which are Pluto, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, and Chiron are all helping us to go over old ground, sort out our past, heal old wounds, reinvigorate close relationships, know ourselves, and rise into our highest potential. So every day as you step ahead, you're also being asked to reflect. This is a huge pull on us energetically and shouldn't be overlooked. Retrogrades are powerful. They help us to release toxicity, weighing us down. Trust in what comes up for you now. It's here to help you improve. And you can learn more about these energies at elizabethperu.com. From today's Dream Spell Journey by Volume Votan and Balon Ilk, Happy Magic Flight of the Yellow Sun Wave Spell. Power of Universal Fire ascends as Cosmic Human, transcending enlightenment through wisdom. Today's Kin 52, Cosmic Human, 13 Human, closes the Red Eastern Castle, which is the first castle of the Dream Spell Count and the first of the new Magnetic Wizard Year. This castle covers the first four wave spells of the Zolkin, Red Dragon, White Wizard, Blue Hand, and Yellow Sun. Today's Kin 52 represents a number of wisdom. Number 52 contains four times the power of 13, four times 13 equaling 52. For the same reason, it includes the 52 kin that are contained within the four wave spells of a dream spell castle. 13 plus 13 plus 13 plus 13 equals 52. As mentioned, today's kin 52 is closing the first red castle of the dream spell count, a 52 kin cycle. Five dream spell castles equaling 5 times 52 equaling the 260 day Zolkin. The personal life castle is also coded by number 52 because an exact 52 year period is required to return to the original birth sign kin in the birthday anniversary. This is known as the galactic solar return cycle of 52 years. A 52 year cycle equals 73 Zolkin cycles. And there we have the resonance of the 73, heaven on earth. The dream spell 13 moon calendar also contains 52 weeks, equaling 52 times 7, equaling 364 plus 1, green day out of time, 365 days of the solar year. Today's Kin 52 is also synchronizing with Moon 2, Day 1, which is coded 2.11, then 2.11 equaling 1111, or 11 plus 11. The awakening codes embodied by Valon Votan, Kin 11, 11.11, and Valon Ilk, Kin 22, 11 plus 11, a symbolic sign closing the first red castle of the magnetic wizard year of initiation. And when I started recording this video, it was at exactly 11.11 11 p.m. Another synchronicity, which these are coming in moment by moment now. 2 September 2019, NS1.32.2.11, Kin 52, Yellow Cosmic Human. The code for the day, the mantra, I endure in order to influence, transcending wisdom, I seal the process of free will with the cosmic tone of presence. I am guided by the power of intelligence. Harmonic 13, cosmic process. Formulate free will of presence. So there you have it for today. 
Another auspicious day of many synchronicities in this symphony of life. So I'd like to thank everyone that has joined in the Divine 44 training. I recorded a video earlier today with an update, which I should be posting within the next day or two, about the fruition of the Divine 44, where we will be opening for the Sacred 77 in the following couple of weeks. We'll open the registration for that, for the group training, for the Neigong Qigong training, which will be in a group setting. So I recorded more about that, and I'll put more information about that on the website on primedisclosure.com. I'd also like to thank everyone that has joined us in the for the Healing Retreat Center in Ecuador, South America, the foothills of the Andes, where the prophecies will be fulfilled. We are in the time of prophecy, the prophecy of the eagle flying with the condor, which is the divine masculine and the divine feminine coming together to manifest this pure ascension light, this pure ascension energy through the rainbow bridge, through our heart center, through our middle Dantian. As all three Dantians, the Trinity, come together in the true center, the true middle, our true self. So you can join us in raising funds for the Healing Retreat Center and Sustainable Community through the CBD business, which is can be found at cbdpeaceoil.com. I'll put that link in the description below. So I appreciate each and every one for sharing their stories, leaving comments below these videos, sharing these videos to your network, to your teams of light workers, love workers, way showers. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell next to the subscribe. Many people are saying that they're not seeing my videos. My videos are being suppressed on YouTube. So the more we can do, the better it will be to get these daily updates. And then many more things are coming in the future. I have many ideas and I will be collaborating with the Divine 44 and seeing what we come up with together. I've already been connecting with members of the team, the Divine 44 and the astral planes and dream time and the higher realms. This has been confirmed by several of our team, several of our love workers. So thank you all for keeping me up to date. The training will begin, the personal trainings of the Divine 44 for all humanity will begin on 992019. It'll be the 999 portal, which is going to be another massive portal opening as we transition into these equinox energies, which will occur Monday, September 23rd, the autumn equinox or the fall equinox, September 23rd. So many things are going to be manifest between now, this now moment, and the now moment of the fall equinox, September 23rd, which will be a moon day. So thank you for joining me today, beloved beings of light. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for joining me on this great mission together, this great ascension mission, as we uplift all life in all realms, bringing together all timelines, breaking free of all time loops, all prisons, all cages, breaking free of all constructs, boxes, cages. We are freeing our spirit, freeing ourselves, freeing the caged human animal from this construct of the false 3D matrix as we rise, 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 rise up into the higher dimensions, 4D, 5D, and beyond, into the infinite the infinite self, the infinite multi-dimensional self that you truly are, existing in all realms, all timelines, here now, through the heart center. So keep walking your path with heart, beautiful beings of light. I love you all. Namaste.